At the same time, it's a matter of trust in getting along with your partners. Rapid Realty owner and broker Anthony Lolly says it's the only way for many of his clients to become homeowners. It's a chance to get into the real estate game despite skyrocketing prices in the tri state area. They have to pool their money together. On the other hand, possibly the most difficult part of getting a mortgage with friends or family is everyone has to be completely honest about their finances. And there's a disclosure aspect of it. So you may not want your friends or your families or your partner to know your whole entire Entire financial history, but you have to disclose it. So you have to know about those things in advance. If they don't pay the mortgage or that person doesn't pay their share, everyone else is on the hook. Knowing the potential pitfalls, the Silva family still feels it makes sense to pool their resources to become joint homeowners. They're buying a multifamily home so several of Silva's sisters can live there comfortably. So they wouldn't have to split the kitchen per se, but they will split the whole house, you know, maybe the, the backyard. Lolly says it's a legitimate option for the kind of buyer who just falls short of being able to own a home and invest hard-earned money. The question is, can you get along day-to-day -day with friends and family without it blowing up? In Briarwood, Queens, Emily Smith, CBS 2 News. That is the question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll leave it right there for, the, uh, for us for today. For the News at 5, we'll see you again at 11. The News at 6 starts right now.